value seekers anticipate being unimpressed by the feature sets of cheaper boards, even though they don't want their CPU support to be compromised. On the other hand, 1050 are rated Dr. MOS regulators, or one of the SROC X570 Steel Legend Wi-Fi's key features, which will be enough current to operate one of AMD larger Ryzen 3000 processors at its maximum speed. Let's watch the video to learn more about the characteristics that make it so competitive in the market. So, let's get started. One of the things you get is Intel's 2.4 GB slash S Wi-Fi controller, which adds $10 to this part when compared to the otherwise identical X570 Steel Legend. Though we consider that to be a value benefit, anyone who is certain that they will never use Wi-Fi can look at the rest of today's coverage as a discussion that covers both versions of the board. The added controller is proudly displayed mid-board, making its absence noticeable on the version that doesn't have it. One of the things buyers don't get is a bracket to support the Wi-Fi antenna jacks. It's merely bolted to the fin, flexible i slash o shield, and even needs to have the nuts removed and reinstalled simply to pull off the panel's clear plastic protective sheet. Buyers also don't get the Dell Pathway USB 3 tubes will port seen on pricier boards, as that would require an additional controller. A single 10 Gbps pathway connects the Type-C connector, and another connects the type of port above it. Six additional USB 3 ports are of the Gem 1. 5GB slash S variety, and the space around them is filled with display port, HDMI, a single PS slash 2, gigabit Ethernet, 5 analog audio, and a single optical S slash PDIF connection. X570 Steel Legend Wi-Fi X buyers also miss out on SLI, though most buyers at this price point probably won't miss that at all. The 16 pathways of the top PCIe 4.0 slot are fixed, leaving the middle X16 length slot with only 4 lanes though those lanes are PCIe 4.0 which offers double the bandwidth of the PCIe 3LANs you'll get on boards with other chipsets. Headers for 8-pin and 4-pin, EPS 12V slash ATX 112V CPU power input, 3 fans, 4-pin, single port USB, RGB LED, 24-pin primary power, and two USB 3 Gen 1 front panel headers surround the CPU socket. The single port USB and RGB header are labeled for use with various AMD CPU fans, though these can also be used with other devices. Front Panel Audio, TPM, Thunderbolt Adding Card, 2 4-pin fan, RGB, ARP, 2 Dual Port USB, PC Speaker Slash Legacy Power LED, and Intel Standard Front Panel Button Slash LED headers line the X570 Steel Legend Wi-Fi X's bottom edge. Above those are two 4-lane PCIe 4.0M, 2 slots, 8 SATA ports, 3 PCIe Zone slots, in addition to the X16 light slots mentioned above, and the PCH Heat Say. That little black integrated circuit poking out from under the PCH SIG is an ASMO 1184 PCIe 2.0 zone to X4 smart switch, which allows the Wi-Fi and Gigabit Ethernet ports to share the chipset's one remaining PCIe lane. We hope you found our in-depth review helpful and informative. Comment below if you have any questions about this review or explanation. Thanks for watching.